Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to continue our series on tuning the bands with different radios. Of course, I'm going to complete a little bit my series with the Texan H501X, but don't worry, the Ethan uh, satellite with SSB, executive satellite SSB, the Texan PL330, Texan PL680, um, whatever radio, the Texan PL368 uh, or Caldecom GP7 SSB. Um, all of these radios, anyways, are going to enjoy uh, St. GN ATS 909. All of these radios are going to enjoy a tuning demand, so you'll be able to actually maybe understand your radio a little more. XH data, Ratty Wow, all of that. It's coming up. Just give me time to make the videos and um, share what each radio has an advantage for tuning the bands. We're going to tune this video 14,000 to 15,000 kilohertz. What's in there? What exactly do you hear in that range? Well, it's divided into two categories, 14,000 to 14,350, which is the 20 meter amateur radio band, a very popular amateur band, open mostly daytime in the winter, almost 24 hours a day in the summertime. So it's one of the great bands for DXing and for receiving stations from far away on the AM bands. Uh, one of the favorite bands of a lot of people. And uh, from 14,350 up to 15,000 kilohertz, all sorts of signals of utility type signals from uh, Mars, military auxiliary radio system, uh, US Air Force, uh, for time signal stations. You'll have some um, um, civil air patrol. You'll have all sorts of things happening in that range that are interesting to monitor. So um, it's something to look at and tune around because you never know what's going to happen in the range of frequencies over here. Lots of uh, Russian number stations use that range also for some broadcasts. So let's start tuning around 14,000 to, 4, to 15,000 kilohertz. I will stay in upper sideband the whole time for a very simple reason. Pretty much everything is upper sideband in this range. Exception, a small portion of 20 meters has an AM um, 14290, around 14290, there's some AM amateur radio operators, and there could be, of course, a time signal station like 14670, the CHU time station in AM, but most of everything is upper sideband. So let's start tuning around. It's 1939 UTC, and we are February the 20th, 2022. Tuning on the Texan H501X in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. 14 to 15,000 kilohertz. So first of all, you hear a lot of Morse code stations for a very simple reason. It is a CW contest this weekend. So you hear a lot of stuff in here. Fifteen oh seven four. This strange noise is FT eight. Very popular also uh, for amateur radio operators. Right now there's Morse code, but fourteen zero seventy to about fourteen one hundred and ten. You'll have mostly different styles of digital modes that you can easily decode with software. Now we're in the single sideband voice portion of the band. Fourteen two thirty to note if you guys want to decode pictures, slow scan television is often sent here. What you need to do is just park on 14230 upper sideband, leave the radio on, and start your favorite slow scan TV software. And even if it's quiet at a certain time, at some point you'll hear some slow scan TV. It's probably the most popular frequency for that. Not a lot of voice. Not a lot of stations of voice. They're all in CW and Morse code. Thanks 
So now we're at the end of the 20 meter band. Let's see if we hear any other unusual signals as we start scanning more of the utility signals. Especially in weekdays, we'll often hear some Civil Air Patrol and Mars nets and communications there, uh, just above the 20 meter handband. This one is almost impossible to hear, I rarely hear it, but. 14670 is the CHU time signal in Ottawa. Of course, it skips over me. And once again, you might find that it's quiet like right now, but be patient. Tuning regularly, the same frequency range will actually bring you some rewards and you'll hear some interesting communications. Some interesting, uh, some kind of interesting sweeping signals here. I'll look on my SDR to see what it looks like. It's almost like a style of Kodar, but it's not on the SDR just to show you guys what it looks like I'm going to show you the screen the same signal that's doing that is red here so this is uh, some kind of radar of some sort possibly so it just gives you an idea I like to follow it both working together because the waterfall gives you information and you wonder sometimes what you're hearing on the radio here so you can actually see the signal at the same time so this is probably some kind of radar Fourteen nine nine six is a Russian time signal RWM in Moscow that, um, when propagation is good, sometimes makes it all the way to North America easily with uh, time pips, Morse code IDs, and so on. 
And here we are at 15,000 with WWV in Colorado. So that was the tuning around from 14,000 to 15,000 kilohertz. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.